M4230 GPRS Terminal. To install your terminal, please ensure we have sent you the following equipment. One card terminal including battery. One paper roll. One power supply unit. You may also have received one charging dock. Pinch both sides of the printer lid firmly and pull up. Place the paper into the holder, ensuring that the paper is feeding from underneath the roll and insert into the holder. Place the excess paper over the screen and close the lid. When the lid is secured in place firmly, you will hear a click. Remove the excess paper. Please note that if the paper is feeding from up and over the top of the roll, the receipt will print blank. First, you will need to remove the battery from your terminal by pressing on the release clip. You can then remove the plastic sheeting that is protecting the contacts. To reinsert the battery, lower the battery into the terminal with the small ledge to the left hand side and release clip to the right. Now push firmly on the right hand side of the battery and you should hear a click. The release button should be flush with the side of the terminal and should look like this. To charge your card terminal, connect the power cable to the red power socket on the back of the card terminal. You can now connect the power supply unit to your mains power supply. A light will appear on the side of the terminal. The red light means that the battery is charging and when it turns to green it is fully charged. Full charge is normally achieved after two hours. If you have received a charging dock, you can connect the cable of the power supply unit to your charging dock into the red power socket on the underside. Ensure the cable is positioned in one of the slots at the back and place the dock on a flat surface. You can now connect the power supply unit to your mains power supply and place the card terminal onto the charging dock. To switch on your card terminal, press and hold the blue function button until you hear a beep. Once you've heard the beep, you can release the blue button and after a few moments the sale and refund screen should appear. Depending on the acquiring bank, your terminal may display connecting when first powered on. A receipt will print to confirm your terminal has successfully connected to the bank and is ready for use. If this receipt displays your acquiring bank as disabled, please contact the Technical Support Help Desk for assistance. To turn your card terminal off at any time, press and hold the blue function button again until the screen goes blank. You are now ready to begin use of your Spire Payments card terminal.